One of the most important parts in being a good observational painter is being able to correctly identify color. And my guess is that you're worse at identifying color than you think you are. That's right, I just challenged you. So to prove me wrong, you should try the color guessing exercise in today's video. Because painting is all about critical seeing. And if you can train yourself to see critically, putting paint on the canvas will really just seem like an afterthought. But seeing critically isn't one of those things that just happens naturally. It won't happen overnight. So you're going to need to train yourself. So make a new document with a nice neutral 50% gray background. And then grab an image from the internet. I like to use ones that are shot on overcast days like this one. It makes the color picking a little more challenging. And then next, make a little square like this one and move it to somewhere in the image that you want to pick the color. So for starters, I'll do right around here. Now look carefully, make a new layer, make sure your color is set to a default black, and then open the color picker a second time and try and envision that color and match it perfectly. See how close you can get. So I'm going to try here and we'll see what I can come up with. you'll find that this is a lot harder than it looks. So we'll see how close I can get. Okay, and once you think you've got the right color, paint a big circle of it. Next, go to the eyedropper tool, and in the sample size dropdown, choose 11 by 11 average. And what this does is it'll actually give you a little larger sampling set. So I'll pick in the middle of the square and paint that next to it. So see, I was pretty far off. And the way you can check how far off you were is to open up the color picker, and then use the color picker to select yours. Okay, so see, I had an 86% value, and then I'll select the one from the actual image, 73% value. So I was about 10% off in the value alone. I also got the hue a little bit wrong, as you can see here on the slider. Mine was ever so slightly warmer, and this one's a little cooler. But really the big problem area here was that I was 10% off in the value, which means if this were a grayscale, I'd be about one value step away. So that's a lot more than I would have guessed. So there's not a lot about art that's easy to quantify. Generally things look either more realistic or less realistic, or you get close to the way you want something to look, but not quite. Well, this exercise is very easy to quantify. You can compare the number that you guessed compared to the number that it actually was. And so in this way, you can measure your results. And definitely, you'll find that if you practice this a lot, you'll get better at it. And if you can see more critically, you'll be better at painting. So if you're finding it a little bit hard, you can actually give yourself a bit of a crutch. And this is something that observational painters will have with them usually when they're out in the field which is a gray 50% square with a little hole cut in the center. And what this does is it isolates the color and gives you a nice neutral ground to compare it to. So if you were to have this around the square that you wanted to guess, you'd probably be a bit more accurate. And so if you want to use this tool when you're doing studies, for instance, you might find it useful to help accurately judge color. Although ultimately, the goal is to be able to turn that off, see a little square somewhere, and guess it as accurately as you can. So give this a try, and I'd love to see how you guys do, because this is one of those things that's a lot trickier than it looks. So have fun.